Paint the Rails, in collaboration with Edmonton Transit Service, is transforming public spaces through public art, community engagement, and a celebration of local history. Building upon existing relationships with local partners, Paint the Rails will join together with Edmonton's diverse Chinese, Sri Lankan, Latin American, and Filipino communities to learn about the local moments that matter, transforming them into a mural at Clairview LRT station. I came here in Canada in 2004. I was reunited with my mother and we were uh, separated her for seven years. Uh, so we first landed in Montreal. I was a fresh graduate in the Philippines when I moved in Montreal. And then um, I, was, I had high hopes in working there as soon as I graduated. But then again, it was difficult because we didn't have the language. But at the same time, we were struggling with the issues of reunification. We were separated from our mom for seven years and um, she was dealing with us like we were still little children. So there was a lot of family issues, things like those. Till I decided to go back to school because I said like, if I won't go, I will not go back to school, then I will end up working in factories. But after graduating, because I wasn't fluent with friends, so I moved here in Alberta. I'm from Kalinga in Cordillera. This was uh, given to me by my sister when she came here and visited us because it took us five years before we came back. Uh, we went home in the Philippines. So I told her, I was like, can you set, bring something here for me? I am not Kalinga by blood, but I am, I am Kalinga by heart. So my parents are immigrants from different provinces. So my mother is from Pangasinan, father is from Cagayan, but I see myself as a Kalinga because I was born and raised in Kalinga. I feel myself as Kalinga, like all the resistance, all the strength of a Kalinga person, I think lies with me. Purita, can you tell us a little bit about Kalinga? What is Kalinga and you know the indigenous communities there? Kalinga is a home of a large number of indigenous people, uh, communities uh, and Kalinga women were that called a uh, kain, that the one that uh, uh, Nobi uh, show it, it's a colorful or we call it tapis. The textile are woven by uh, exclusively by women in our place using backstrap looms. The basic dress of women across a Cordillera region consists of a skirt which is sometimes complemented with jacket and Kalinga clothing is particularly brightly colored. Uh, women uh, just wear bongor, the beads, to cover the top body. The amount of beads in the bongor indicate the status of a woman in the uh, long time ago. We were also the tapis or the kain uh, during wedding ceremony. Any party we attend or to represent our Kalinga costume. Even in gatherings of Ed in Edmonton, many people from Kalinga still use that as their attire in these events in Edmonton. Mm -hmm.